right, boys and girls, it is time once again for the Guys Weekend Podcast. I am Josh Tenney, along with, as always, he's starting to cut into our uh, weekly programming here a little bit. Well, his uh, alter ego, Schmanden, yes, is cutting into our re- weekly programming. That Brandon bastard. Parks. That bastard. I keep telling him, like, hey, man, I got stuff to do on Sundays, you know. <laughs> quit, quit keeping me out till... 5 a.m. on Sunday mornings. I can't do it. You know, the people need their need their entertainment for the week. Um, which is why I, I we were on here now, Saturday morning instead of Sunday. Um, it's, it's fantastic. You know, that guy doesn't listen. Uh, so these QR codes, where are we going to send them, Josh? I, I see this. I see mm. this is on here. We should probably put we're, one up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's send them <laughs> to a... Uh... Mm. The the darkest belly of the underweb. I like it. Zach's here with us today to discuss the nerdiest of all nerd things. Dungeons and Dragons? I didn't know that was on the on the plan. Yeah. Speaking of which, Josh, did you get the player's handbook from your mom? I I piece it. I I, I use it as my bathroom reading material at the moment. Oh, because nice. it's the only time I get a chance to <laughs> get any time to myself. That's fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. At least, at least you have it in hand now, and you can slowly make a character. Uh, before we dive into the today's scheduled programming, I have a question for both of you guys. I was involved in a uh, discussion, if you will, about foods and how they taste. Mainly, do different pastas taste different? Different styles of pasta? Yes. Yes. Why? If you're using if you're if it's a controlled thing, you're using the same water, the same sauce, the same seasonings, and you're you're boiling rigatoni instead of spaghetti. It's different ingredients. Better ingredients, <laughs> better pizza. <laughs> Papa <John's. laughs> uh, but I mean if it's this if it's the same company making the same <clears throat> pasta, I don't see like like from I mean, scratch I, I could see. So so like yeah, if you're making it from scratch, I don't think there's much difference in like if you're buying Barillo from Walmart, I don't I don't think there's much of a difference between their spaghetti pasta, their fettuccine pasta, and their rigatoni pasta. You know what I mean? I always thought it had something to do with like the makeup of the pasta, like the ridges, you know, it's it's ribbed for our pleasure because it it holds more sauce or cheese or hot sauce or bacon bits, whatever you're putting on it. But I think what it boils down to, it's still, it's still just pasta. Like people were arguing that um, grilled cheese tastes different depending on how you slice it diagonally or down the center. Like it's the same sandwich. No, that's stupid. I don't, I, I disagree with that. <laughs> that's, that's dumb. Yeah. I'm like, I, what? This is, this is weird. Yeah, I just figured I'd bring it up because it was it was like an ongoing like it lasted like an hour. I'm like Jesus, like this is the those companies that are mass producing pasta for grocery stores. They are not changing any ingredient from one to the other, so they do taste different. It's it's almost like your uh, your mind's playing tricks on you because yeah, you you, you know how we'll like effect. yeah, all the all Fruit Loops taste the same. You know, All Skittles like are the that. same flavor. Yeah. That's, I don't know if that's yeah. true. It is. I watched a documentary on it, and they make them all the same. They're all white candies, and then they just dump them in colored dye bins, like concrete rollers, and that's how they get their color. It's the same I'm base candy. Today. I'm, I'm yeah. going to eat Skittles for the first time in 10 years today, testing we, the so series. We did the this, Google. Uh, we did this uh, at Tice's house. Now, slightly inebriated, but we did it blindfolded, and – we play. I can tell you in. that's not true. Holy shit, he's right. Because I put orange Skittles in. Uh, no, uh, he's right. Some grain alcohol and it turned. <laughs> and it, made, it made it orange. I it, 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 it. It was orange. The dye, the dye comes <laughs> off. You were thinking that though. There's, there's no flavor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> life is ruined. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to spoil it, kids, but <laughs> it's yeah. So the juice dramatic equation. What about Starburst? I'll hey, fight. Guess, guess, guess what this entire. Guess what next week's episode is going to be about. 
We're gonna us be getting I'm diabetes. Be taste testing Skittles live on air. I'm about it. Let's do it. We'll get all the candies. We'll do a little deep dive into this. Brad will be back for that episode, so we're gonna get him involved. Wow. If if southern candies taste different than northern candies. Well, hey, everything here is going to taste different now that we got the uh, East Palestinian spicy water. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, shit, you know people uh, people are having a field day about this over here. Like they're like they're turning on like running hot water and then <laughs> le- letting the hot water run into like a jar and then immediately taking a picture because you know how it's got that that cloudiness yeah. to it. They're yeah. like immediately taking a picture and go and posting it on on social media saying this is what my water looks like now. Like All hot water fucks. looks like that. Yeah, when you <laughs> when you do that. <laughs> hey, funny thing is, my wife watches uh, videos from a, a lady who lives over in uh, England, yeah. and there is a difference in like a Hershey Pasta kiss tastes. over there oh. to pair compared to Hershey kiss over here. Oh, they're they don't they don't they don't process things the same. Oh. They don't have the same process uh, food. It's probably that why they're not over here. morbidly obese all the time. Yeah, probably. Um, but their all their teeth also fall out. So ah, that's true. That, that, so, and that's without drugs. Teeth fall out over here because of the meth and crack. Over it's there, weird. it's because of the candy. You know, candy. Uh, who was it? Who was it that we knew that bought one of those Japanese boxes of candy? I can't remember who that was that had it. They're like, hey, you gotta try this shit, and it was like something that Alex would eat, like shrimp flavored toenails or whatever the fuck it was but it was like a it, somebody i can't remember who that was. it might have been alex that bought a box of japanese candy didn't know what it was and we just opened it and tried it so i'd be interested to see if they have i'm going to start buying random things i'm going to get on ebay and spend way too much money on quote unquote candy from other countries and it's just some dude down the road selling it to me uh what are we going to spend our settlement checks on josh because we're getting we're getting paid two times mm, spicy water well. and mesothelioma Oh, oh right, yeah, two times. Baby. <laughs> they're, good. they're good. It's going to be ten dollars and fifty cents. That's how much <laughs> your that's how much your lungs and organs are worth. Sweet, it's going to get me some M and M's. Uh, so the Last of Us, Josh, are you caught up? I can't I? I haven't had a chance. I'm working way too many <sighs> hours to be able to even watch anything. <sighs> Christ. See, you know what's cool, Josh? You know what we can do, Zach? We can go like this, and we go, we go, boop. And then Josh goes bye bye, and it's you and I talking about the Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring him back. Let me bring him back for something we can talk about, uh, without giving any spoilers away. Oh, uh, how far are you? How far are you, Josh? I haven't even started. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> you can't talk about anything. Yeah, that's true. Well, he played the I... game back in the day, right? Oh yeah, I played the game. Okay. Oh yeah. Well, so still, I still don't want to talk about because it it's. I think like everything they've done. Hold on, hold on. You're you're cutting in and out. You got a Chinese weather balloon flying over your house right now. That's Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think maybe. Right, How about now? That's better. A little Nick, laggy, yeah, but the audio is good. Is there a litany of birds outside your house right now? <laughs> no. No bird or okay. crows. You might be safe. Yeah. Uh, a, 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 a faint a faint humming. <laughs> so everything they've done thus far. I, yeah. Everything they've done thus far that they've changed from the game, I feel like they did. Like they made an improvement for television. Because like if you just had a game where it was just violence the entire time and you made that into television, like nobody's going to watch that shit. True. Mm. Uh I feel like the this past episode, um, the events that unfolded there, they gave you a stronger connection. They they, they pulled you in to the story mm-hmm. more in the game than in the show, and really made that final scene hit you hard. Are you talking about uh, it hit harder in the show or hit harder in the game? It hit harder in the game because there was a lot more like. I guess that. that I, I guess you had that more, you had more time. You had more yeah. time, but. I think I still think it was awesome. Oh, it was still great. It the acting is great. like has been like incredible. Like, I like the little uh, Easter eggs they're putting in there. Like, uh, uh, I don't remember the dude's name. The right hand man for what's her face was the voice of Tommy in the video game. 
Oh yeah, the old um, I can't remember what his name was in the show either, but uh, but yeah, he was he was awesome. Yeah, and I love the homage just to you know the whole. Yeah, how sweet! I enjoyed that. Yeah. that was my, my what's funny is my my family's all watching it, so like, uh, like my mom, my stepdad, and my sister are all watching it, and it's hilarious to me because they've always thought my, like, my video games were just like violent and stupid. And then like, yeah. there's no points. And I was like, Oh, that's crazy. Cause like what you're doing is like a, f- like a quarter of how I was feeling for that entire game. Like you're not yeah. really getting the full thing. You're not um, to, because I I'm a firm believer that if you're playing a game, you're like encompassed in the game. Like you're part of the game. Right. So you build connections and it's, you know, it's the whole, you actually have those motions with the characters and stuff in it. Cause you're living it with them like rather than just watching it. Yeah, it's exactly. It's the same concept as reading a book yeah. versus watching TV. It's just you're a little bit different way your brain works. And I just think it's been fucking awesome. And it's just funny to me that how many people are watching it now and be like, oh my god, this is really good. It's like, oh, that's crazy because you, you thought video games were stupid. And here we are <laughs> watching one of the best pieces of plot ever created. And I, yeah, believe, I, I believe on the last episode I said, wouldn't it be crazy if like The Last of Us became like the the highest selling game of 2023? After it's actually... Period. It was up after the first seventy-two percent. Yeah, after yeah. the first episode, it was the number one best-selling game on Amazon. That's it's insane. Yeah. yeah, and that's it's the new the newest one because they timed it perfectly. They did the oh, whole yeah. Last of Us Part One, which I haven't played in that, and it's a huge improvement. It, it's phenomenally great. And, well, did you uh, see Warner Media now is also uh, have they backtracked a little bit? You know how reports last year said that Warner Media was not no longer going to do any original scripts for HBO or anything anymore. Like they put all of that on halt uh, until last, the last of us came out and they were like, well, maybe we'll reconsider, you know, oh, yeah. the last of us fucking killed. I mean, it, it, it's from what I read, it's putting up almost like game of Thrones numbers. Oh dude. It was the most, it's the highest rated pilot on IMDB. And then it was the most watched. I think it was like from episode one, to episode two, it was like the most, viewer increase increase yeah yeah like it was wild because i mean everybody was talking about it yeah and it's just funny to me like i'm sitting there like again i say it, like as the gamer watching all these non-gamers watch like like oh this show's so good the plot's gonna be awesome it's like i hope you're ready to get your heart broken oh like, yeah no shit i know how it ends <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you pl- you haven't played the second one have you either not yet played? not yet mm-hmm. uh i i unfortunately got sucked into this other game we're gonna talk about here yeah uh, so the second one I think is phenomenal. Um, it's probably one of the darkest pieces of any anything I've ever touched. Like it's it's a dark start to finish. It is. I don't like. I generally I was worried that they were gonna do really well with the first one, the first game into the TV show, and I worry for like they're gonna have to make a new rating for entertainment uh, to yeah. showcase how bad this this season is like it's a lot like it's like emotionally and like physically like jarring like there were scenes where yeah. i like looked away and I don't, I don't have like a weak stomach or anything like that but it's freaking brutal man they, they pull you into it you know yeah there's it's, gonna be it's another really good i do know one of the spoilers there's gonna be another window scene and that one's gonna pull at the heartstrings you know windows window scene but yeah with the episode three when they looked out through the window there's another window scene and for last oh. year too yeah yeah but they, that's gonna um, be a, a tough one. Yeah, and I mean <clears throat> the what's really I think um, what's her name Bella Ramsey is that yeah. Uh, so she I think she's done a really good job. I don't I think that she's really good for a young Ellie. There's no way that they could cast her. They have to recast that. Yep. She just she's not old enough, and she just what's, looks like a kid. What's the time difference between the first and the second game? I want to say it's like four four or six years, something like that. Okay, I I can look it up, but um, I just I haven't played it yet, so I, I don't know, wasn't sure. Um, <clears throat> uh, five years also, after the, five years after the first one. Okay, so I also I think mean, it's she cool. goes from thirteen to eighteen. Like that's that's a huge I li- jump. I like how you said she's not she she doesn't look old enough. She's like twenty years old, dude. <laughs> yeah, you know it, yeah. She, do, she does not look old enough. She, I mean, it'd be stature. like if it'd be like if you cast me as somebody who looks supposed to look like thirty five. It like it does. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work. Like yeah, I can't go here. I, I thought so, you were gonna like, say cast you look like somebody who's twenty. I was. I I think it's cool though too, like seeing uh, Ashley Johnson and all them, Laura Bailey and uh, what's his face, Uh, Matt Mercer. 
not Mercer, the other one, uh, whatever. The, the you know who Alana Pierce is, right? Mm-hmm. They they have that um, podcast that they do. Yeah, I don't know the dude's name. Anyway, he was involved heavily in the first and second game. It was all cool to see all them come together for, uh, you know, the second coming of The Last of Us on TV. So that was cool. But having got into the second game because I got sucked into fully engrossed into the wild wizarding world of Hogwarts Legacy. <clears throat> wow. It's good. Wow. I even mm-hmm. bought a new controller to play the game with right here. The Edge? Uh, no, this is a scuff <laughs> uh, Reflex Pro. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Fantastic. Sweet what, is, what, is, what is it? It's it's basically it's got four. It's really hard to see here, but it's got four paddles on the back instead of two, like yeah. the Edge. Um, other than that, it's it's a PS5 DualSense controller. Um, but you can. They were running a special where you can like customize and color everything for no extra charge. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it, why not? It's a birthday. Oh, that's for sweet. Um, but I wanted to do the Edge. But Mike it's and so I had that. Expensive. I just don't think it's worth it. That was a little bit more than the edge. Um, Jeez. Well, I guess yeah. it has more to it than that would make sense. The only difference is two paddles and a longer battery life. The only thing that the two things that kept me from the dual sense edge in this one was the edge. You can replace the joystick modules, which mm-hmm. I think is so cool. Uh, but this one has four paddles instead of two and a longer battery life. I'm like, eh. and the difference there was quite a bit. I think before the discount got applied and the free shipping, <laughs> it was up to like three sixty five for that thing. Yeah. So insane. Uh, thankfully, I got some birthday money from my wife and my mother, so that that helped. Um, but I have been using it to play Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I know. One out of our group has already finished the story. Zach, have you finished the... No, Josh, you've been playing it too? Yes. I have not finished the story, no. Okay. I've been doing the side quests out the ass. Yes. Like, I... I If once I have a, like a... Like, you know how you can tell, like, when you're doing the trials and shit like that, that yeah. once you hit the certain trial, like, you know when the, that next chapter is starting. I yeah. will not move on to that next chapter until every my entire journal is empty. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. yeah. So I was on this morning, <clears throat> and I literally was just going around the map and doing shit. I cl- I have everything north of Hogwarts from – you made a direct line, actually. The first town south of Hogwarts where there's yeah. a shop, anything north of that, I have every – everything's cleared. Like every <laughs> fucking thing. There's not – there's no trials. There's no ancient magic. There's no uh, collection chests. There's no um, – there's no caves I haven't explored. There's Jesus. no. I have all the demi guys moons up there. I have. I all just of... started doing that. Yeah, I have all of that stuff. My problem was is I I went too hard in the beginning and I was like level four just exploring everything. Mm-hmm. So like I didn't learn all these spells and shit that I need to unlock locks and and right you know get the chests with the eyeballs and shit until I'm like level eighteen and I'm like God damn it I feel like I just. <clears throat> I really fucked the order and how I did things. However, now going back through, it just makes it a little bit easier. Right. Well, now I'm going through and doing the story. That's like, I'm like at least 10 levels ahead of where <laughs> yeah, the yeah, story nice. is supposed to be. So I'm like literally just blowing through everything. It's great. And I have like, um, I have a, I think I'm level 34. Jesus. So level 34 and I have full legendary gear and I have it all upgraded t- at least twice. I think just, I think I haven't unlocked the, the grab, the grab horns yet. Solid. <clears throat> so Josh, where are you at with it? Yeah. Uh just I had level twenty one. Solid. Solid. I think I yeah. just hit twenty three last night. My my problem is I'd be a lot farther. Is is the problem is when I get home, I start playing, and then I get like a solid forty five minutes of gameplay and then I start... Oh no. And then you freeze Free time on this thing. Oh. I probably have like I don't know, thirty five hours. But actual playing time, I'm maybe hovering around ten <laughs> because I keep dozing off. <laughs> That'll happen. Uh, so I think I think everybody knew this game was going to be visually stunning and aesthetically pleasing. Um, I haven't messed around much switching between fidelity and performance mode on the PS5. I left it to look as good as it could. Um, so other than 
us knowing it's going to look fantastic, what has been the uh, – what have you enjoyed the most, Josh, out of this so far? Like something you didn't like, um, know from seeing the previews. Like, oh, okay, obviously there's owls and a castle and goblins and, ooh, spooky spiders. Like what's – The intensity and the, the story itself so far and where I'm at is – uh fairly like some of the some of the things some of the things that the uh the the villains are doing are actually like really villainous like like when you're in uh um gringotts at the beginning of the game yeah. and ramrock runs comes in and takes that other uh goblin and you know brazes him up in the air and drops his ass down kills him like i wasn't expecting that shit like that was wild i thought that was pretty hardcore so yeah. some of the some of that stuff i i i, I thought it was gonna be almost like your uh it succeeded my expectations because my expectations were that maybe this was going to be something like my wife's playing disney Dreamlight. you know i thought it was going to be a little bit more along the lines of that and it's not i'm pleasantly surprised and happy that it's more interactive, more uh, action friendly. You get to do stuff. Um, yeah. I, I'm I'm really happy with the game so far. Absolutely, Zach. What about you? I think one. I think I like how dark it is. <clears throat> I definitely think it could be darker. Um, I was worried that they'd make it too kitty. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I wasn't expecting it to be that way. Um, the combat's been sweet. Uh, I play on the hard difficulty, and like I, I get my ass beat sometimes if I'm not smart. Like I, you have, like you have to pay attention to what you're fighting, and like that's the best way you can beat stuff. So, like example, like the it took me. I was sitting there trying to figure out why the hell it was taking me so long to beat those uh, dog bog. The what? Are the, what yeah, the mongrel called? dog bogs. No, no not the, the, the mongrels bogs. are easy. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, but you when they do their tongue attack, if you just do yeah. le, if you do Leviosa and put up, their tongue will go up in the air, and then you use Defendo and it slices and it it one shots them. Yeah, it's there's dead. But like then the same kind of thing with the um with the spellcasters when you're fighting them, when you fight the executioners, they have a shit ton of health. But they do that channel like fire tornado or lightning tornado. Yep. If you just use you know um what the hell is it called the frost one. No, no, no. If you use uh, <clears throat> what the fuck, the, the one where you disarm them. Um, oh yeah, uh, it begins with a D. Dis. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna remember it in like ten seconds. But um, but anyway, so if you use that on them, it causes them to lose control of it, and it hits them instead, and it basically one shots them too. So it's just like learning what stuff to use, um, and what you're fighting is like really important. So I think that that's cool. Um, I think that I think I've like finally figured out on like on a scale of one to 10 where I place it. And I think that it kind of like goes back and forth depending on if you really like Harry Potter or that, that world, or if you just are like, eh, about it or if you hate JK Rowling, but um, either way, I, I think the game is great. I don't think it's the best game I've ever played. I think it's one of my favorites I've played, Brad, and I've said that quote numerous times. Like, it's not the best game I've ever played, but it's definitely one of my favorites. So, I mean, yeah. I like last night I was sitting there and I was playing it. It was like 11. I was getting pretty tired. So I uh, I was like, you know what? I'm, I don't really feel like finishing this out real quick, but for some reason I have the urge to make a second character just, just so I have it done. And because I'm doing two playthroughs, and the first one I'm getting like 100 percent trophies of you, everything. You you doing you doing one one year of the hero, the other one you go dark wizard. Well, one the first one I'm doing like exactly what I would do. Like I think that yeah. the unforgivable curses are like pretty fucked up. Like I think that they're like actually pretty screwed up. So like as you're progressing and stuff like that, I whenever I've had the opportunity to learn them, I've said I don't even want to learn it. So like I, I don't want to learn it, so it's not something I would think about. And I think that they did a good job with letting you have that choice. And I'm curious to see, like, if I get a trophy for never using a bad curse the entire game, you know? I think that'd yeah. be neat. But uh, what I'm doing is a second one where I just blow through just main quests and side quests, like, now I'm worrying about collectibles. And then 
I just a vodka dover everybody everything I fight. <laughs> so I he, he's 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 doing he's doing one gameplay of what he really would do, and then he's doing another one of what he really wants to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I was gonna do, dude. Like last, okay. Here's a good example. You know the freaking um, wizarding wizard ball. What the hell is that called? Yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. It's basically yeah. it's the opposite of shuffleboard. <laughs> yes, it's you're pulling it towards you with Accio, right? I'm on like the second to last one, and I I went going at this chick against this in this game for like 30 minutes because I couldn't fucking beat her. And every time I would screw up, she'd be like, "Summoner's Court." Yeah, Summoner's Court. Yes, thank you. And every time that I would screw up, like I'd have a ball that would end up being flung off or something like that, she would just be like, "Well done, finesse," and she'd say it every time. So that's mm. my biggest gripe in this game is the the vocal cues annoy the shit out of me because they're just repetitive, like yeah. over and over. Like your person will do like a flu flame and end up somewhere, and it'll be like, "I guess all roads lead to Hogsmeade," and it's just like, yes. "Dude, you said that fifty <laughs> fucking Every times." Time, like yeah. it's just it's just that's big, my biggest gripe with um. Yeah, but uh, it's not much Horizon. different than like it's not much different than like Skyrim. You go to all those shop owners and they're they're saying the same yeah. shit but your, I don't your companions constantly saying the same shit yeah i'm not i don't care about the other people i care about <laughs> what my character because i can't get away from my character i can walk away or get on my broom and fly away from anybody but if my character's saying the same stupid shit <laughs> all the true. time like okay. example you walk into a treasure vault and it goes this could be rather dangerous so if i'm not careful and there's not a single goddamn enemy there's not a single <laughs> enemy in any of those that i've gone into <laughs> and it's just like I don't understand the the reason for that. Like Horizon, um, uh, Forbidden West when that came out, yeah. it got such backlash, like a huge amount of backlash because everyone was so annoyed with Aloy continuously saying the same shit. Like she'd be walking around and she'd see like like a little like ingredients to make something, and she'd be like, "Oh, I should use some of this for my pack. I should put some of this in my pack." I should put some of this in my pack. Like, so much so that they they fucking patched it. They patched it and got rid of, like, 90% of wow. all of her cues. That's... And I just say it's the same kind of thing with this. It just, it just annoys the hell out of me. But if that's my biggest gripe about a game, like, whatever. I I I think the physics are kind of shit sometimes in Hogwarts Legacy. Like, when I jump, it takes me, like, to vault a little thing. It, sometimes it feels like it takes me 10 tries. It's like Grand Theft Auto jumping. <clears throat> kind of, yeah. It kind of is like Grand Theft yeah. Auto jumping. Well, but... maybe, your, maybe your timing's just really white. <laughs> Hold on. This is... <clears throat> that's, that's it right there. <laughs> that's it right there. That's true. <laughs> but it's really good. I mean, the combat's my favorite part. If yeah. you haven't done this, go in your settings and under... It's under... Uh... Get rid of the minimap? No. Oh. Not that. Um, for combat, there is a setting for your camera. It says camera, like camera, uh, camera, camera oriented targeting, and I turn that off, and it is ten times better because what it does is like you, it lets you fight people that you know are around you, but because the camera, like if you have that on, which is a default. You can o- it will only let you cast spells no matter which way you put your thumbstick because you can use your thumbstick, the left one, to aim yeah. your spell like who you're sending it to, right? Yeah. So it will only let you target people in front of that you can see on your screen. But if you turn this off, like you can be fighting three people here and every so often just like poof, and hit somebody else on the other side and just keep. It's so much better. Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah turn that off. Turn that off, and it, you'll have a much better, easier time. Like I was getting. That's what was pissing me off was that I'd be sitting there and I'd be owning five guys in front of me. And I'd be hit with something from behind that I can't even see because the camera won't let me turn yep. to see it. I can't like – it's all about like managing like what you're hitting and like keeping things at bay while you target one thing and take them out and then next and then next and then next. Yeah. But I don't know. Ooh, like right, that. right now, the – okay, what's your, what's your favorite spell? Or what's your favorite combo for like uh, for fighting? I don't know. That, see that this is this is where I'm having an issue, and it's solely on my end, not the game's end. Um, but I'm trying to use the paddles on the controller, and consistently not knowing what's mapped to where, I'm always hitting the wrong fucking thing. So I'm like, okay, well, do I just play with the the face buttons and do it that way? I'm like, no, that kind of defeats the purpose of using this controller. I really bought this to play with play COD with, and it'll be much easier when everything's just simple and i don't have to worry about changing things right. so 
I can't say I have a favorite spell combo because I never know what I'm casting when I'm casting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very chaotic when I get into a fight. <laughs> I just kind of I just do it up. What uh what difficulty you guys playing on? Oh, it's easy. So that, yeah, there's like there's story easy, normal, and hard. Are you on easy? Or are you on normal? Normal, normal. normal. Yeah, because it's yeah. story easy, normal, hard. Yeah. yeah, most people are playing on normal. I feel like. Yeah. And I wanted it to be as hard as possible because I, that's I wanted I wanted to have to like approach every battle differently, like every single one. And I have all I have four sets of spells, and they're all for like a different type of enemy. So like my, my set to the left is for beasts or um, the zombie looking guys, the Infidious, yep. Infidious, or what? Yeah. yeah, one of those. And then my bottom one is for goblins, and then my right one is for uh, casters but my basically i have for the most part against spellcasters and goblins i have the same thing and it's basically uh the top one i have is uh arrest momentum and then i have uh accio and then bombardo and uh what the fuck is that one called the one disarming one yes spelling <laughs> Yeah, uh, thank yeah. you. It's really obvious. And I have, um, I upgraded my, I put traits on all my gear, right? And so I have ones, I have one that significantly increases damage for Mabardo, significantly increases damage for uh, Expelliarmus, and then my Ancient Throw. Oh, it's not, I have um, trans, uh, Transform, uh, whatever the one that trans, that uh, turns them into something. I have that one, I have the talent that turns them into an explosive barrel. I don't use the rest of momentum. So like I'll turn somebody into red barrel and I'll throw that at somebody. I, I do so much disgusting damage with the build I have right now. I don't have I, any of those unlocked yet. You don't have a single one of those spells yet. Well, you have a spell. I, 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 have a no, spell I, we, I don't have the uh, we don't have the uh, traits. The you can't I don't have traits. The, the traits to put on the armor and, and shit. Arresto like that. Memento yeah. is <laughs> is where I'm at right now. I I'm doing the the side mission for that mm-hmm. right now, and then I don't What's have your... bombard. I don't have yeah. Bombardo's kind of late, and the latest one is the trans uh, transfiguro or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, that one's pretty sweet though, because <clears throat> you can just turn somebody into like a barrel, but then later you it get looks the, cool as uh, shit. The talent you turn them into an explosive barrel, then you can just take that and chuck it at somebody, and it kills both of them. Um, the the rumor requirement is also freaking sick. Oh, it, it is. is yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Like I got I got like the whole shebang unlocked and it's sweet. Like I got a whole operation going. Like I'm breeding beasts. I'm selling stuff out the wazoo. Um, are you on? Are you playing on PlayStation, Josh? Uh, Xbox. Uh, uh, Brandon, you're on PlayStation, aren't you? Well, yeah. obviously, yeah. You have the controller. So yeah. let's leave the peasant out of this. Have you unlocked? You haven't unlocked the story yet, have you? Not yet, dude. It's that was one of the create the one of the best missions. It was so good. I know. I seen you guys send the screenshot in there, dude. Oh, it I was. Can't wait to... You get it that was towards so the end, I'm scary. Uh, or... So you get it after like the second trial. Okay, I did the like, first I, trial. Yeah, so... one, after the second one, you you'll get like a um when you're in Hogsmeade, you'll see like a quest at the, like the southeastern side. You know, all and, roads lead there, right? Yeah, all roads lead to Hogsmeade. There's nothing more uh, cozy than Hogsmeade, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, it, re- like, no. it really <laughs> is true. All roads do lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> or what's the, what's the other one that my character always says? I can't remember. It, yeah, I start tuning them out. Yeah, the customization is sweet. I do. I like the customization. I'm really glad that they allowed you to change the appearance of your the items appearance, because yeah. the gear is so fucking ugly. Like so much of it. Like I feel like like they knew they were making shit ugly, and they had gave like five cool things to look like. Yeah, and that's it. Like yep. the hats are all atrocious. The only hat that's cool is they have a black, um, like a very like English style, like a flat cap. They have oh, a I wear the flat cap. Nice. Yeah, the flat cap the is bowler, nice. The bowler cap. Yeah. The top that hat. Hey, cool. hey, listen, I got I got the uh, dark arts pack, so I make everything look like that because it is pretty cool looking. The uh, all the dark arts wardrobe and shit. So I change everything to look like that. Right now, I look like a guy who's a general from the Third Reich. Like, <laughs> oh boy! Jesus. How so? You sent you sent the thing in there about those uh, the walls with the keys. 
Yeah. Is that like a is that a side quest that I haven't unlocked yeah, yet? Yeah, yeah, you'll get it eventually, okay. and you'll basically get these things where it'll be like, oh, somebody wants to tell you about the Dendalian keys, and once you okay. do that, you'll unlock them. And you basically find a key, and they're like they look like they're the keys from the first Harry Potter when he's right. like when you have to go through the when he's chasing the broom and there's all those keys flying around. Yep. You'll get like one of those in Hogwarts, and it'll fall. You'll follow it. There's 16 of them. <clears throat> Brandon, you haven't and... unlocked that mission yet. That was like the that was like one of the first ones I unlocked. No, <laughs> no, because once I got to leave the castle, I was out <laughs> fucking around in the forest. <laughs> I'm just all like, listen, they had me go past uh, Hogsmeade Station south to find. I don't know. I had to meet up with some lady. It was like three thousand meters away. There were twenty eight hundred. Didn't have a broom. I fucking walked the entire way. Oh my just, god! I just, I just went through a bunch of random shit. I'm like, oh, cool. There's hey, a cave over here, and it, I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised how big that map was. Yeah. Oh. So sure yeah, big. now I need to now I need to get back on there and find the the, the key thing because I like that cloak. It's dude. It's it was a pain in the ass though. So when you, I'm not going <laughs> to tell either of you until you live through what I lived through with these fucking <laughs> keys, dude. I I was getting so fucking mad. Like I was sitting here and I was uh I was off work and I was <laughs> I was sitting Sarah's in here at work and I'm in the living room and I'm sitting here just I keep I keep going, fuck, fuck, fuck. I could I just could not get this thing. <laughs> and basically there's it, it's it's a mini game. And so you follow the key to this big cabinet and the cat you've seen the cabinets around. I've I'm seen sure. the cabinets, yeah. yeah. Well, these cabinets are around there, somewhere around there, there's a key, and if you Revelio, you'll see the little key somewhere and the key will if this is a circle right there's in the center there's a little lock there's a keyhole and you have to you press x on the playstation or a on the xbox and you just just smack it and you have to smack it when it's over top of the keyhole and it goes uh you have to get it like fucking perfect and I I about, I about threw my fucking controller. It was funny because he sent a text, Josh, in our in our Call of Duty chat. He goes, "How the fuck do you do this?" He goes, "I'm about to break a fucking controller." <laughs> oh, the best part is I was the only one who's gotten to that point. So everyone's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, and I was I like, oh, know, yeah, yeah, well, you fucking enjoy it. I figured out how to do it, and I got a really good system for it. But I want you once you once you do it and you can't get it, just text me. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if there's a difference. Like, you know. I wonder if there's a difference between the like the that that kind of stuff and the normal and hard and hard i haven't had an issue on normal getting it getting in the maybe maybe. i don't know i would have think no but was that a sexual joke (laughs) wow could have been giggity well but anyways i hated it i was really pissed off and i refused i knew i figured i guess what was in that chest was obviously like a cool house robe so i was just like i fucking want it so i went through and got all of them, and I was like, all right, yeah, this is pretty sick. Like, the other thing that, that's been tripping my balls off is, and I, again, this is mostly my fault, because, like, I just start wandering. So when I when I went on my, I would walk five, my pretenders walk to Mecca, yeah, and I came across all these Merlin trials, I couldn't do anything with any of them, because I'm like, yeah. I don't have the right spells for any of this. Like, I, I, I can't do anything, and I'm like, fuck. Once you so, get, once you get Wingardium Leviosa, and uh configuro you can do all of them like right, you can well, do all the Merlin trials i just got both of those so <clears throat> so and then i'm like oh sweet these are the two that i need because brad had said something about that and i go up to one ran out of malice sweet i'm like god damn it i'm like I, all these ones i wasted just on the wayside just walking around oh let me sprinkle my oregano on this shit to just not be able to fucking do it oh i was pissed but the good news is, is that it doesn't they don't go away. So if you go back to the same yeah. one, yeah, yeah. You, you it's you already activated, so you're good. So yeah. Um, and then I, and then shit talking that little bitch that flies around on the, the brooms. The, oh dude, I got them for Slytherin. I was talking <laughs> yeah. so much shit up here. Oh Maggie's like, who are you yelling at? I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. Yeah, what's up, man? I beat your record, bitch. <laughs> She's like, What are you doing? I'm like, no, you wouldn't you wouldn't understand. Just that's so funny. What guy uh what broom did you guys pick? I am using the silver arrow. Ooh. And that one you get, there's a goblin who needs you to go get his wagons back. Did you ever see yes. that guy? That so you get cool. his wagons back? Yep. Okay. So if you he sets up a little shop just south of there where you first meet him. 
yep. and he sells a broom and it's all the brooms are the same just to make sure you guys know all the yeah. like, all the brooms are there's no difference you just you'll, 13 you'll, of them right that you can I, get i don't know i don't know how many there are but they they're all the same so like i think they're cool and i think it's cool to collect them and i i don't want to sound like that guy but i have like a shitload of money like i i just i have so much so it's so it's so easy to get galleons in this fucking game yeah especially once you get the shop because the shop all the shop does is that you go there to sell instead of going anywhere else and you just you get like 10 percent or 15 percent or something like that more oh which does that up so like Fuck yeah it's it's nice but I also I hate to say it I think it's so damn annoying how little shit you can hold and how often oh, 20, uh, 20, 20, 20 items you're allowed to hold. I'm at twenty four right now. I have all but the last state like the you know how the challenges are. Yeah. I have all but the last Merlin one done. So I have a total. I've only I can only hold thirty six. I still run into it all the time. Like you literally yeah. have to, I can do like two areas and then I have to go and sell, and then it just is it feels like a chore. The amount of things that I destroy. Right, just so I can fucking clear out a, a chest in some random room that I stumbled into, and then I'm like, no, I don't want to have to come back. It's dumb. Yeah, like I'm gonna forget where this was. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna right. come back to this. Yeah, that's a the, little. It almost encourages you to do the Merlin trials first. Yeah, and I, but I'm at the point where I can't even go down to the next area of the map because it's not unlocked yet. Like, there's a part of the map that like you can't, you can't go through. At least as far as I know. I didn't really like try that hard. But not down like uh where the combat area is? There was like you you solved the little puzzle for the lady's dead husband where you gotta break like the twenty Yes. Twenty vases. That's the southern side. Yeah. That's fine. But there's it like the map kinda like goes it goes like where she is, if you go southeast of her, the map like there's more map. Uh, but I can't go further because it like if I could, it's like a big hill and yeah. it tells me I can't get off my broom up there and I also can't fly into it while I'm mounted. So uh, I think I just have to progress the story a little bit. So that's I don't know. Fair. Hmm. Fair enough. No, I, so yeah, I have every beast I can possibly have right now. So see, I don't have any of that shit either. I, I, have, got, I have all of them. I breeded all of them. Yeah, they're all did. screwing. They're shiny. They're shiny the, beasts. The so like proper, you can have a chance of the the proper grammar is bred. Okay, you know if you're gonna be on the, if you're gonna be a guest on the show, use proper grammar, Tabby. Well, he's saying breeding as if he's the one fucking the yeah, beast, which is I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're so shiny. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So I haven't. So that's one of my. That's one of my things on my list is to attend a uh, beast, beast class. class. So. Uh, that's, that's where cool. you learn um, Bombardo too, by the way. Oh, sweet! Is eventually by doing that. Well, is um, that is that called a bestiality class? <laughs> no. The one's active. Um, He's yeah. playing a different one on the. That was a special. That was a special assignment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Raven Call exclusive. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where your QR code goes to. Yeah, watch that <laughs> fuck mystical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Christ! Oh, uh, Zach and the Nifflin. <laughs> wow i'm more of a more of a thestral guy <laughs> yeah so have you seen the thestrals i have i have them and i have bred them oh i respect them too much to breed them mm. <laughs> um but no i think it's cool i like i think the room requirement's really sick i don't think that they're the moonstone shit annoys the hell out of me because i feel like it, like i have I'm gonna have to make a bunch of the things that you can just that continuously produce moonstone, but they you can only. What I don't like is that if I don't go back to the requirement all the time, the stuff that produces things doesn't stack. So like a yeah. fertilizer, it only produces one, then it stops until you're back, and yeah, it takes ten minutes. And it's like I'm not gonna go back to the room requirement every ten fucking minutes. Yeah, like just um, let it stack a few times, like three. Sure, I'd let it. I, that's fine with me. But, so unlocking the larger tables and such is progressing side quests, side quests, or no? Main... It's it's you're finding them. Okay, so that's right, that's it's so all the collection a... chests, all the collection yeah. chests. That's what that stuff is. So okay. like I just in one of the missions, I just found a collection chest, and it had jack o' lanterns in it. So I can oh, put jack o' lanterns cool. like seasonal stuff in yeah. my room requirement now. Cool. So disheartening news that they're not. Uh, maybe not. They're not planning any DLC, so I don't think there's any hopes. Yeah, I, that's what 
that's one uh when you and brad were talking about dlc and stuff i was like they already i'm almost positive they announced they weren't doing anything like i think yeah. they were like done but who knows i mean it's it was a huge selling game but also i just don't think that there's that much dlc potential because otherwise it just seems like it's gonna be more of the same shit just but i also don't know how i don't know how the story goes Quidditch should be its own game like it'll like that's i prefer them just flesh that out and make its own game and then go from there i mean i guess you could take this story and and go with it you know several different ways you could make up different i mean it's like you said it's gonna be the same same shit over and over you're gonna be right secrets here and there and stalking and fighting things with your wand and right. which i've been having fun with and if it kills time until elder scrolls 6 comes out or gta 6 comes out no, all of them all of them set to release in 2033 <laughs> yeah I you uh, see uh, Bethesda made a release uh, yesterday saying that they're uh, working on uh, finishing up this one project before they start really going they into push Starfield Elder back again? yeah damn dude I think that's gonna be one of the biggest flops I just don't I like I'm a huge Star Wars guy and I that appeals to me a lot it looks so shitty like yeah, it I looks like, like a reboot of, up. of Fallout. It looks like if you look at side by side comparisons, it literally looks just like fucking Fallout. It reskinned. It's going to be Bethesda's Callisto Protocol. Yeah, yeah, it's the exact same thing. Callisto Protocol is good. I just haven't, been, I haven't enjoyed as much as I thought I would. Yeah, that's why I haven't bought it yet, just because I heard. Yeah, it's good. If you like Dead Probably. Space, it's good. I, I like it. I just got. I've been playing other shit because I have too many Legacy, and then I have after that. I'm trying to. Our part is I have the VRs come next week. So, oh, yeah, Josh, he's doing the the podcast next week with the VR headset on. He's going to do it in the VR headset. <laughs> he's going to see us through the headset. Yeah, you just press a button on the on the. T- uh, I think it's yes, on the it's bottom. Like pass the bottom or top doesn't matter. And yeah, the password like that's such a cool feature. And the best that you know this is the best part. Hold on, this is exactly why I want the the password. Uh, see, I can't see right now, but. If I could, <laughs> like the amount of times when I've done like VR and stuff where you have to like take everything off to like get a drink or like get a beer or like, like if my daughter comes up to me and talks to me, like it's just such a hassle, but instead Daddy's of just playing button, a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, or like I had issues with, with the old Oculus here. Cause once you walk outside your little thingy, you... yeah, true. <laughs> well, this thing also with it having all the track and shit, it it's, tracking things that aren't programmed onto your safe zone so like if you have pets it yeah. comes it'll be like well there's some Hold fucking on. here yeah. <laughs> like, chill yeah oh it's gonna so, be so cool i think it's gonna, gonna set it up at probably just my living room okay. and i'll just move the table out of the way and kind of do that they have um the game's coming out i th- i got the uh call of the mountain yeah uh package cool. deal so i got that um so i got that i'm going to i think i'm gonna hold off on resident evil village because i've already played it so i don't really have the need i think it'd be cool i think it'd be scary yeah like, way scary because that's the village was terrifying but i mean it would be nice to see the <laughs> vr yeah. uh yeah. but uh i think i'm gonna hold off on that one um after the fall looks really good it's like a left for dead type Ooh. thing and you can do uh co-op on it now my question is is will my co-op be able to work with like other non, quests and shit like like non P- PSVR. Non-PR, I don't. I yeah. I haven't looked into it enough, but I have like there, nobody I know is getting the VR too. Yeah, so, no. It was between Mike or I, and I don't think either of us are getting it now because we right. both have a quest and I, right. It's but still hanging right see, here on the wall. I never use it. Yeah, I still. I'm just curious to see if if you'll be able to do that with other people too. But yeah, that'd be cool. That's really good. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones. Call Mountain looks sweet. I can't wait for that one. Be um, cool. Did you beat uh, Forbidden West? No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Dude, well, that's another one. Is that that one is like so rich with side shit too. And I love the world, so I want to fucking do everything. Yeah. And and also, that game, I made the mistake. Like, I make the mistake with some games of playing them on too hard of a difficulty. And I get stuck, and I won't, I won't stop until I fucking beat something. And I'm still to this day stuck fighting on Thunderjaw. I, re- I refuse to fucking leave the area because <laughs> I'm fighting a thunder gel and I will not yeah. rest. And the hard part now, I don't remember how to play. So yeah. I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'm going to start over, but I have like a disgusting amount of hours. And I, I, I would do myself a disservice if I tried to uh, get rid of that. So, That's true. 
What uh, what video game is next to be a TV adaptation? Uh, for, honestly, that we don't already know of, because weren't they already making a fucking? I just read an article and I had lost it. It's because I'm holding back a shit right now. I'm getting like the poop chills. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> but there was, they were just talking about they have another one coming to light. Anyway, uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor TV show. I don't know. I think that if you're going to do one, I feel like that's probably the easiest one to do. But Ghost of Tsushima, ah, dude, I don't think they'd do it. I don't no? think it got enough. I don't think so. And the, the plot's good, but it's just a video game plot. Like that's why The Last of Us is so yeah. different. That it's it's like a it's like a I don't want to say a masterpiece. I mean, I think it's really good, but I'm just saying like it's a it's easy to trend to take that plot and the writing and <clears throat> the acting and all that and put it into a, a, something else. Well, also, but, Last of Us kind of almost like broke everything down into episodes too. At least the game did. Yeah, yeah. like almost it, was, it, it, was it had like different dramatic. acts, you know. Yeah. yeah, and I had a lot of cinematics and stuff too, which definitely helps. <clears throat> but it's like it's not just a video game type thing. Um, oh, they're supposed to do a God of War TV show. Really? Like that. Something maybe like that. that could be good. Um, I saw an article that said that originally in the their first writing plans is that Kratos was going to die at the beginning of Ragnarok. They were going to kill him, and you're going to and it was just going to be like Atreus, I guess. But wow. I was like. Atreus is cool, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't want to play as Atreus. No, <laughs> like, no, no. I no. like no, play as Kratos and blown shit up. It's like, the, it's like the end of, the end of uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption, the first one, when yeah, you got to yeah. finish the game as uh, Marsden's son. The and I'm sun, like, oh, yeah. this, this fucking... So, so is the third one prick. picking up with his son? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 never, I haven't finished that one either. I bet you that's what it'll be. Because the, I mean, the Red Dead Redemption Two goes back before the first one, with Arthur Morgan, and we all know how that one ended. So, R.I.P. Yeah, um, Ooh, I'm excited. All right, yeah, we got to cut. We got to wrap this up because it's coming. It's giants. I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> I'm all good. I thought I could make it, but I can't make all right, it. Eight so minutes for the very clinched Brandon Parks. Very special guest, Zach. This was the Guys Weekend Podcast. Good night. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a photo finish.